this is going to be the video of my Q&A. Um, thank you for those who asked questions. This is part one. Um, so I have this here. So I'm going to be reading from here. Um, question one. What book do you think is the most overrated? From Curtis. Answer the Hunger Games books. And songbirds and snakes. Um, I think songbirds and snakes should not have been even been a thought on the Goodreads awards. Shouldn't even been on the list. Um, even though I never read the book, but after watching Jesse May's vlog and Jashana's re reveal of it, um, I'll never touch it. But like, I think the Hunger Games. Yes, I really did like those book. I did like those books. I had fun time with those books. Are they my favorite? No. Um, I just thought, I just think they're overrated. Um, the next, the next question is, if you could have any magical power, what would it be and why? From Ste Stephanie from Miss Richard Reads. My, my answer is to read people's minds. Be to be able to control the control to be have it off and turn it off and turn it on because I want to know what people are thinking and I really want to know what they would really want to say before they say it. Um, so because maybe um, it's my my personal thing. Um, so I maybe it's my anxiety because I want to know what people are actually really thinking. And even if it is negative, and even uh, true or not, I can approve upon myself and make myself a better person. And if their thoughts are still the same, then it's not true. So, but like, regardless, <laughs> that's my answer. Um, I always thought reading my, like, plus with the whole reading minds thing too, you can... If you're, if that superpower is, you can turn that superpower around to fight the other person. So you, so you might know the person's next move against you. Um, the next question is, who's your favorite author by Nick Next Corner? My favorite author, and I'm not, I didn't leave just one, um, I, I don't want to say Brandon Sanderson because I only read Stormlight and um, the um, the first of the Mistborn, and I'm all and I'm currently reading Words Radiance, and only I don't go by just a few books I read by the author, but um, these are the authors I have read most of their books. I'm pretty pretty much caught up. And I just need to read a few of them, maybe two of the two of the one. The other one, um, their book just came out, so I haven't read that yet, and I haven't read the um, short stories that are with it. So, Grady Hendrix, Sarah J. Mass, and Cassandra Clare. Okay, so the next question is: What made you decide to make YouTube? To make YouTube videos by my friend Chris. Um, Chris, the reason why is because it was the start of COVID, and I was into. I drove into the BookTube community and started following um, a few people first, and then trickled down to other people, and then watching them just talk about stuff I love. I just figured, hey, maybe I can do that and make a skill set that will benefit me somehow. And it's a really good hobby to have because I love books. Um, but because uh, I just want to show other people and bring up more booktubers who just who just not only just read fantasy, who not only just read horror, who not just only reads mystery or cozy mysteries. Like, there's people who have their niche, but like, I can't stick to 
to one thing one genre and I want to show like hey here's a booktuber who is reading not just one thing they branch out and read other stuff as well and um, I'm grateful for the friends I have made since I made this channel since I I branched out and reached out to people it's, it started out small started out being a patron at with um, beautiful, beautiful book of Anthony and then I branched out to when Jessie Mae made her um, Discord and made friends there, like, and even, and meeting, and then through here, just meeting people through, through the comments and then connecting them to other places that I, I am part of and making that community. And I'm grateful for it. And I'm glad that I stepped up and start and I'm slowly becoming better at my editing although I need to start finding a better editor where I can like do the middle and cut things out that way but I just, even though like it's not high quality you don't have to be behind a bookshelf you could just come up here and just talk about books and I I love it it um so the next question is what book has changed your life and made any other good or bad from my good friend Andrew from Get Right All In? So, I, I have to say it because it, it's just made a big impact even though J. Cologne is a shit person. Um, but like, Harry Potter, reading those books, got me to have the nice quality time with my mom. We read back and forth. We had mother-daughter time reading together. And on top of that, um, I did Harry Potter RPG writing with a very awesome group of people. And I'm still really good friends with some of them. And Chris is the one that actually gave me a question. Like we were really, like we all became really super good friends. Even if we're not close, even some of them are not close with them anymore, we do have a Facebook, we do keep up with each other. Um, but it, and it was, and it got me to better at my writing and it, in fiction and all that, and everything, and to be more mindful of my spelling mistakes and grammar, and to just become a little bit better at writing. And combined college as well too but like that just grew my love of writing and and made me ha and that just impacted me that way because my really and I still have really awesome friend from it the next is next question is I lost my okay what's your favorite and least favorite thing about reading so my least my okay so my favorite thing of reading is getting lost into the story my least favorite reading is when my eyes get tired you're not I'm not tired but when I read I'm starting to fall asleep and and it's not the book because I love because most of the time I love the book. It's my eyes that are tired and I start falling asleep while reading. It's not a slump. It's just one of those thing issues that someone who likes to read a lot has sometimes. It doesn't happen often, but some the longest it went was a week. Um, the, and the same and the the same question. And then, because this is a two-parter, because the person asked me two parts of this question, two part, two part questions. That was the first part question. The second part question is, if you could put together two authors to write an auto buy book for you, would they be, and what kind of book would they write? From Ola, the Reading Witch. Both of them are from her. So the. The part, the part two would be Grady Hendrix and Cassandra Clare. Uh, they will write a fantasy horror, and it would be cast. It would be Sandra Clare's first audio, first adult book. 
um, the next question is, If you could build your perfect set of friends with characters from different books, who would they be from Katrina? It would be Magnus, Bane, and Alex. No, so no, it would be, not Alex, sorry. It would be Magnus, Bane, Shalon, Lindsay Boxer from, uh, from James Patterson's uh, Women's Morning Club books. Nesta and Jen. They will be the friends I would want because Sean is witty and smart and and growing into herself. Magnus, he is just who doesn't want to be friends with Magnus? Lindsay Boxer because she's a badass investigator cop in LA Nesta because she's a badass bitch she's a bitch and someone you want on your side not against you and Jen because he is just a cinnamon roll the next question is what fictional character would you love as a roommate and who would you not be able to live with and why from K Fox. Okay. Magnus and Alex as roommates because one the magic, two because they seem easygoing and because of magic they can make a place look seem big so they can have their side with the kids and family and then me and and me as a roommate or whatever. Um and I'll feel safe because nothing can get me because Alex is is strong and he saves he saves everybody as well as well as as Magnus he is the one that's saving everybody too and his magic is really strong so um so I didn't take from a book I took from Supernatural the TV show because I don't want Carly to be my roommate because one he could probably trick me into something and something I, I don't want a deal a deal like and and I don't want any and I don't want to deal with any shenanigans that he has with the demons and his his shenanigans like no um this last this last question is a two-parter from Patricia. The first part is, if you could live the life of any fantasy character, who would it be and why? It would be Farah because of reason and friends. And then the second question is, if you could have any fantasy character as a parent, who would it be and why? I would want Tessa from Shadowhunters because she is a badass mom she seems like and she's a, a really good person and she's not and she is probably the closest to my own to my mother if my mom had magic that's who who she would be if my mom was a fictional character the closest would be Tessa and my mom would probably be flattered if that I said that so there's part one, um, so yeah, you'll see part two sometime, um, I have that scheduled, I'll be still wearing the same outfit, same shirt, because I'm feeling on the same day, and I want to split this in two parts, so, it's easier for me for editing, so, I will see you very soon.